Ready Builds Bricks here, back with another mock video. This is my mock of a 501st Republic frigate. I hope you enjoy. Taking a look at the exterior, up front here, this is the cockpit, and there are two laser cannons up front, a radar dish, and down here is a detachable cargo pod. This cargo pod can be replaced with a bomb, and it has a little place to put cargo. Above that is another cargo area. There is this little flap here that can open up, and there is this area where you can put some cargo. It is two canisters, or cargo things, on this 2x4 plate. And you can put them on there like that. And then just slide them back in and close that up. Here, there is the two armored platings with two 501st signs there. Some vents. And then this carry handle, which was actually my first time ever building a carry handle. I'm going to tell you this now. Carry handles are extremely hard to build, but they are worth it. With bigger builds, you can easily just flip them around. And if you do it right, that's horizontally. The ship is heavy, too. There are some cannons which can rotate all around and go up and down. There's one on the other side as well. Down here, there's an anti-artillery cannon which is on a ball joint, so it can move around. Here is the uh, rear laser cannons, which is also on a ball joint, so it can move. And then if you open it up, there's a spot to place a clone trooper. There are the three engines. Now let's take a look at the landing gear. This is the landing gear. And it can fold up. Now taking a look at the cockpit, this just swings up and there's place and there is a space to put two minifigures. They are not held in by studs. There's a control panel there. And there's a control panel. The pilot sits here, and then the gunner sits here. We have space for a clone. And a pilot to sit. Both of these panels can be taken off. Now these walls here are the same technique I did with my Stinging Mantis mock, where, where I used these rods and then clips to angle them and hold them upside down. I took the walls off just so you can see better. There's this area here, a little gaming table or planning table, and a seat to store a minifigure. There's a clone trooper, and then there's a droid recharge port. This whole fort, I mean, Republic frigate, can be turned into a mobile base. This area is the barracks, or Jedi training area. There is a bed, a chair, and a coffee table, and pilot helmet. There are two Jedi. Let's take a look at them. This is Jedi Buddy, or Master Buddy, and then this is his apprentice, known as Band Rubba. He can use the Force to throw his lightsaber, and it will come back to him kind of like a rubber band, so he's also known as the Rubber Band Jedi.
I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.